we are back at round one today in Greensboro, North Carolina, because we need to update you guys. So it's 2023 and we're seeing round one take away some of those push claws that you know and love and actually add in some different skill claws. So this is an updated how to win the claws at round one, kind of in 2023. This location has a really nice variety. So we're gonna see if we can get to as many as possible and they have some really cute plushies. So I'm hoping we can win as many as possible. We're gonna kick this off with a style of game that we've never seen before. So the goal here is to hook a blue horseshoe for two plushies or a yellow for one. And I see you guys talk a lot about the cost of round one. So the fact that you could win two plushies on one play here makes this one of the most affordable games, I guess. Yeah, so is this a wire? Like, is this going to bend when I go down? I don't know yet. Because there's some nice blue ones. It says horseshoes, but it really means zip ties. Yeah. So, so you guys are watching this one live as we figure this one out with you. I promise we're better experts on the rest of them, but we have to try something a little unique because we could have walked past this one, plus with a cinema roll prize. So I have no idea what this will do. Well, oh. we've almost got a yellow one. Almost. I don't think it's going to do anything, though. Okay, so it was really close. It's gonna have to push it down, kind of like some of these other claws, kind of push it down and go through it. So I had to hit it perfectly kind of on the back, this side of that blue one to get it through and okay. pick it up. Let's try it one more time. Okay, I like that though. I didn't hate what happened. So a lot of these claws you're gonna see are really a game of lining them up. So these are true, true skill games. I think that might have been similar to the same shot. I went way too far to the left, I think. Oh. oh, it was so close. It's like in it almost. Oh, man. So did I need to go a little bit farther to the left, actually? I think you did. I think ultimately you were right if it kind of pushes around the circle. Man. Let's talk about these standard claws, because these are going to be at every single round one location, and they all look really similar, especially with those pink balls, white balls at the bottom. So Spencer's going to show us a little bit of the different strategy. This claw machine does double tap, so I'm going to talk about that first before we get started. That means you're going to hit this button once to drop the claw, and you're going to hit it again when you want the claw to clamp. This works well sometimes, not every single time. It does not mean it's going to be a guaranteed win. There's no guaranteed win on a claw machine like this, um, but it can help you depending on the plushie. Agreed. And now this plushie is a little bit small, so I'll swipe in here. I don't think it would actually super help me on this plush because it's so small and low to the ground. If something is a little bit larger, maybe, we can show you one of those later that a double tap would be helpful on. But this one, I'm actually, for the first time, I'm going to let the claw just fall entirely normally. And now this one we're going to play three times just to see how it goes. I don't usually see the round one claw machines getting stronger oh, as it goes. That was a bad lineup. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. So I usually don't see them getting stronger. Typically what I see is it just wins. It's yeah. not always easy to tell when it's about to win. And boy, have we spent some money on some of these claw machines when it's something we want, haven't we? That's very true. Okay, so the spin did me dirty on that one, but this one shouldn't be better. Okay, so you saw how it didn't actually pick it up at all? That's uh -huh. because it hasn't reached its payout rate yet. Like Katie said, when it reaches that payout rate, it's just gonna kind of snap close. Now, do you wanna try it one more time and at least just try the double tap, perhaps? Sure. It can't so hurt. It's hard because it's not too deep into these balls. There's not like a high level of balls here. And so it's not gonna get too far around it before I hit this button. The double tap actually didn't do it because it was too low to the bottom. Too so you, low. If he goes too close to being at the bottom anyways, the double tap won't do anything. It won't even work. Okay, so you're really just gonna line it up perfectly, making sure that none of the claw can go over. Into the shoot, yeah, because that'll really make it so you don't get a good grip. I used my double tap technique there, Ooh. and it didn't do me any good. You want to try it once without the double tap? Yes. Let it go all the way around. Maybe try to get all the way around the okay. ball. See if that, that does any fair. difference. It's tricky. It's a tricky one. With it being a perfectly round plush, you really have to get it smack in the middle. Ooh. Oh. Now, I like that grab better. I do, I think too. that not double tapping it, because this one's like a true round ball, actually worked out well. Do you think it's too close to the shoot? You can try it one more time if you want. Let's see. This is a prize that I do really want. I know, so we do I'd love a branded like prize. Whoa. Oh, geez Louise. Oh my gosh, Spencer's going crazy here. I was trying to see if I could spin it a little bit in my own favor. Hmm, that's gonna be a really close call. I don't know how the claw spun when it went down. I should have 
thought about that. I'm going to have to go a little bit to the left. It might go into the chute. It might not. I have a feeling it is, though. And I, Because I don't want to go too far to the left because then it just won't pick it up at all. How much? I have 30 seconds. 30. Ready? Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Man. Uh, round one always has some good drop the box, knock off the box, whatever, get the box down, claws. Okay, so let's take a look here at something we're looking for. We're not really invested in either prize. This box is significantly farther back than this box, which means this box has less to travel. So it's a one arm backwards claw or sideways claw, I guess it's turned 90 degrees, and you're gonna use that one arm to try to push the box forward. You're gonna try to line it up um, potentially in the center of the box if the claw is strong. If not, you're gonna have to walk it left and right. So your first one is gonna have to really tell you how it's gonna be. Well, let's see. Let's line it up right with the middle to start. And once again, this is just a push the button once to move it. So you kind of only get one shot to do these. And we're a little close to the claw next to us, so a little hard let's to go all the way back. Yeah, I went perfectly back. It actually ended up going a little bit to the right. Let's see how strong this is. Ooh. Oh, that was substantial. Okay. So now, I'm gonna play it, trying to line it up with that back left corner. Okay. That's not bad. And you know what, gravity's really on your side in this game. If you can get that front, like, third off, an easy little push in. But that was a great push. Great lineup from Spencer. Oh. That actually didn't hurt it. No what? way, in two places. And that actually was strong enough to lift up the entire box and flip it. I thought it was just gonna push it forward. It straight up flipped the box in there. So in two plays, we have our prize. Now okay. we have to go find somebody. So now drop a comment if you would pick the hula bunny or the shades uh, Hawaiian shirt bunny. Now that's a quality win right there. I can't believe we got that in only two plays. And it's really soft. The little skirt is not soft, but the actual plushie is really soft. That's super cute. This is so fun. Get a bullseye to win. Claim prize with staff. So we've got a bunch of these tiny little balls um, wrapped in Velcro, and assumably the claw will line up pretty close <laughs> to the bullseye, and they'll Velcro to this. Um, this is a game you usually stick the bullseye on the wall. Right, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is too cool, too cool. Um, so some of these novelty games like this you're not going to see across every round one. Right. Um, but a lot of the skills used are going to be uh, across the board. So you're going to want to just line this up with the bucket, and then probably where you see the most of them. Okay. Right and there. this is just a one chance, one chance right, one chance back. Yep, and it's going to dig. And you might even grab multiple balls depending on the claw strength, how far down it digs. Let's see how many we get. Oh, no. No way. None. Wow. Okay, try one more oh, time. No. At least you made a nice little Kind of where that blue that. one is. Yeah, I'm going to go blue, for that blue, same blue, area. Yellow, yellow. I cannot believe it did not give me a single ball. It didn't dig down super far, and that's what I was saying. So I actually I don't know. I think there's too many balls in there for it to dig. And I imagine because it's Velcro, they kind of, I know it's not the right side of Velcro, but they kind of stick to each other. Okay. So it's not really going super far down. I think we might get a good dig on this one. Oh, we, we got, got two. two. We got two. So that, as long as it holds both of them, that kind of makes up for the last one. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. There's a little bit of luck here. <gasps> oh. oh. So okay, close. I'm actually gonna go one more time because if that's the drop zone, maybe that one that's on the 150, it oh, would bounce off of that to the right. Brilliant. Are you gonna go kind of for this green yellow one there? Yes, exactly okay. right, Katie. We're actually thinking the same thing today. Okay. Okay. So I had to go a little bit farther back than I did. Hopefully, I don't hit the box. Nope. I did not. Oh, that's gonna be a super deep dig. So it's either gonna give me a lot or it's gonna give me none. One. And give me one, okay? Okay, I'll take it. I'm a little bit nervous about where it is. I would have rather it have been towards the other end of the claw. Yeah, it's a little far forward in the arms. Oh! oh it's, mm. Is there another good one, do you think? Like, do, if I go forward enough? Um, you don't want to go too far forward because the lip of this plastic box, but, I mean, give it another try. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this one is pretty fun, actually. I'm willing to play them more than once if I'm having fun while I'm doing it. Um, you know, we're not really into trying to... No! Oh, no! That's ex I went the wrong direction. That's what you said. Okay, we're going to give it one, okay. one final try here. That was on us. That was on us. But I'm willing to play these more than once if I'm having fun while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of the enjoyment. And I, I am on this game, for sure. I agree. Okay, so I definitely don't want to go too far back at all. Okay. Like, I actually went probably not far enough back, but let's see what happens. So I went all the way to the bottom of the bucket on the right side. All right. Oh, man. So I'm going to rate this claw as a medium because I got a couple good plays there, but out of my five plays, I only got two where I actually picked up balls. One was my fault, but the other two was just bad luck. Save the turtles. You have to knock off three turtles to win. Are they being attacked by these frogs? I think so. We have a one left and a one up again. 
Kitty is trying to, I guess it's picking up the turtles technically, because you're not going to knock them over based on where they are in the box. So she's going for this lump of turtles in the middle. Ooh. That is a great lineup. Will it do anything? I don't know. Okay. I got one. So you picked up a singular turtle. Oh. You Drop saved it. it. Okay. So I need to save three turtles. So you need to save two more to get a plush. I know you really want that penguin back there, but those are coming up next. So what we're playing for is these Hello Kitties. Which one are you going to go for now? I'm going to go for the dark green one because I think the other ones are too close to the frogs. Yeah, I'm a little nervous on how close to the frogs the other ones are. We had a great lineup on that one. I think you're going to hit that green frog. Oh, no, I'm way too close to the front. But oh, you no. can still potentially hit that purple turtle off. No. Nope. Oh. Does that, does that count? It does not Count. But it definitely helped you. So now you have free reign of those two turtles there. Oh goodness, oh goodness. So let's see if you can get this in the next two plays. Oh, let's not put the pressure on you guys. Well, I'm not trying to pressure you. I think you can do this. As long as you don't hit that orange turtle now. Don't so I say that. I think you should have gone a little bit more to the right. You did not hit the turtle. You technically did. Oh no, I hit this side. Oh no. Oh, oh I it still, still got worked. It. You got one off. Okay, so you only need one more. Oh, so what's the strategy on this last dark green turtle? Do I do the same thing I just did? Yes. I don't even know if I could replicate that intentionally. Yeah, um, I guess just line it up with the green turtle because there's no frog to the left of the green dark green turtle. All right, this is this is the for did all I the go marbles. Back far enough? You went back far enough, yes. No, I don't know. Yes, you did. This is gonna be the same play if you can get it. Oh, oh no, it didn't knock it all the way off. All right. Oh, what do I do now though? You got one more play. But will Hello Kitty be in my way? Yes. So, so you I need to try to line it up. Well, you know, if you line it up exactly like you did before, it should still work the same. Oh my gosh. You might be able to pick it up. Oh, this I is... Put my... So I should go to the left of it a little bit. Just a little, but not too much. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's see. I don't think this is good, you guys. I'm nervous about how this is going to play out. Okay, so you hit the Hello Kitty, but it's okay. Oh, it's like touching the turtle. Oh no. Oh no. Do I might have to... to sub Spencer. All right, I'll step in and I'll see what I can do. Okay, I summed in Spencer. I think I got myself too nervous about that Hello Kitty off to the side. If this green turtle doesn't come off in this one, I think you're going to have to try for the yellow one. Let's see. I might have gone too far, not far enough to the left. But let's see what happens here with this left arm. Oh, okay. you're just sliding it in? Oh, no. That's fine, because now on this next one, I think I might be able to pick it up. Okay. Wow, we thought this one would be one of the easier ones of the day. And this last little green turtle really has evaded us. If, it, if this claw goes off the right side, which I think it will, I think I'm toast on this. It's going to be close. Oh. No. I lined it up too perfectly with the... Oh. Oh, he's rolling over at us, guys. Okay. I'm going to give this another shot. I mean, we've already gotten two turtles off. I feel like we've spent way too many credits on this one, but this Hello Kitty is at least cute. This is a game of skill, as you guys know, but I think a little bit of luck follows you everywhere in life, doesn't it? And some days are just not your days, and that's okay. Come on. It's going to push him forward. Oh, Katie, this, is really this one's going to kill me. Um, what is your plan here? Watch this. Now what we're going to do? line it up kind of with the middle of the board so that the left claw is going to be right on the edge of the turtle so it'll at least fling it. Okay. He has a whole plan here and I'm just like so nervous about this orange That's frog. It's probably going to hit the frog. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Launch it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's... One, two, three turtles, we yep. get our Hello Kitty and one frog. one frog. I'm very happy with this. It's corduroy. It's a really nice Hello Kitty plush. I didn't think I would have to play it that many times, but I'm not mad at it because I'm having a good time. Okay, well, you guys know we just got a mini golf to the channel, so uh, I guess we should it. be good at this. So you need to score a hole in one. Try your best to putt putt. You're going to pick up ping, -pongs from, uh, ping pong balls from this bucket back here. And then this is the green, if you scoot over here, sorry. And you need to get a hole in here. So um, let's get set up here. Okay, so kind of like that bullseye claw that we played a little bit ago, you're kind of at the mercy of what it's gonna pick up inside of this claw. Oh, true. So you kind of want to set it up to be kind of perfectly in the middle or if you see all the clumping of balls, but you can probably definitely go too far to the left far out and back. Yeah, so the skill really here is to just pick up a ping pong ball. After that, uh, you're a little bit in the uh, the hands of the claw. <laughs> oh, no. we 
we didn't get how one. Did, how are we having this terrible luck with not picking up any balls? I've never had this bad luck at any round one before, but I know, of course. I know, we usually pick up like one or two every time. There was actually a time we were trying to get a real Akuma, of course, just like a penguin, of course. And um, we just kept picking up ping pong ball after ping pong ball, most times two or three. Okay, this Ooh. should be better for us. Okay, okay we okay. got one. No, it has to be a hole in one though. Oh. Yes! yes! That actually worked a little bit better than it knocked out. It actually fell out before the claw even opened. So because that happened, it put it on that far left wall, and that's kind of what you want to do, because if it comes over this way, it's not going to go in. But if it rides that back wall, specifically on this one, it's going to go straight into that hole. Look at my little chicken that I got for getting a hole in one. It's even got a little heart on its butt. I don't know what this is. It's a super cute little chicken, though, and I can't believe we got that one in one play. That was some oh, two plays, because I missed on that first one. But some definite luck getting this little cute little chicken. This is a popular style of claw, I think like more so recently. So you have to take the claw, I know it doesn't look like a claw, but this yellow tube attached to the claw and get it into one of the holes here. The reason those zip ties are there is just to prove that you've won. Um, so the zip tie will push through. It's just like a little bit longer than the edge of the hole. Always check the signage. This one says you just need to drop the yellow pipe into the hole, indicating just one. Sometimes it is two, so check before you play. Okay, so let's see. It is a very, very precise game. Oh no, am I gonna be in your way over here? Maybe. Okay, so he's just hitting each button once. I think I already went too far. It doesn't look bad from here, honestly. Oh, okay, so maybe a hair to the right and a hair to the back. Probably more back than right. Definitely a lot more back than right. Okay, I guess I'll stay on this side of you to try to watch out. Okay, so he gets to press the right button, so you're gonna hold it until you want it to stop. And that's why this game is intense, because it's really fast. This is, I'm does. feeling okay about it. Oh! What happened? Where did it even hit? The back? That must have been the back. I couldn't even hold Like, that was so, barely so close. Oh. It must have been back. Let me try one more time. I felt so okay. good about that, right? That's kind of crazy. It should have. It, it was really good. I think that's super out of the right. out of his way, you guys. I'm sorry if it looks weird. Oh, that oh, was I can send it to her one more time. Okay, and then we're gonna call it. We have to call it after a few times, and you have to stop and regroup. I think it's healthy sometimes, because otherwise you can get really frustrated playing a game too many times. I'm saying that not just for you guys, but for ourselves. Well, it looks like this will be it. It's not far enough to the right. It's that precision, and I just didn't have it today. But your front and back was really good on that one, and honestly, that one that was so close was crazy. The classic S hook claw. We've won this before in videos, so if we can't get it today, don't worry, we've done it, okay? So we know what we're talking about. Something you want to look for is to make sure the S hook is actually pointed the correct di direction of the circle. This may sound like I'm making stuff up, but you can actually see this one is pointed quite a bit to the right, but the circle is completely like parallel to me. So this one looks like the better side to play. And again, just ask a staff member to reset it if that's not the case. But exactly. um, Sometimes, you know, it can get busy, so just pick the easier one. <laughs> Very true, yeah. There's a lot of S hooks here. We definitely chose this one based on how well this was positioned so we didn't have to ask anybody. Plus, a cute prize doesn't hurt. Oh, this what? one shakes a lot. Oh, wow. I did not realize that was going to happen. I don't know why I didn't realize it was going to happen because it's just kind of on like a loose wire, but this one's a little chaotic, more chaotic than we're used to. Yeah, so it actually went a lot farther to the right than I thought it would because it just shook on that wire. Oh, it actually almost caught on like the back end? I, yeah, I think if the back end had somehow been more open, it would have caught. Um, does huh. that change your strategy at all? Yeah, because then now I feel like I just need to kind of like line it up in the middle. Oops, upside down. <laughs> line it up in the middle. Okay. It's so hurt like, the box a little bit. Yeah, that was really aggressive. It would be the best way to describe it. That might have been too far back because it's pretty far forward as a claw. That actually looks pretty similar to how I had it. No way. Oh, that's so close. Oh. I say try it once or twice more. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit, not as far to the right. Okay. Oh man, okay. This is tricky with that, the way the wire is. I know, it kind of just does what it wants. Oh. oh. Happen when it picks up. Oh, absolutely 
nothing. Well, let's go see if there's another S one we can find that it's maybe a little bit smaller. These come in all kinds of different sizes. This one's a huge one. Drop cracked egg for a prize. This is going to be a novelty claw that you're not going to see at every single location. But again, a lot of the skills are the same. So you're going to look at the eggs, figure out which one is cracked, and then line up for it. I think I go for the zigzag cracked one. It looks like it's away from the others a little better, right? I, I agree. And, and I'm hoping that this isn't something that's too crazy to try to pick up. So normally you would try to line up perfectly with the right, but I actually think it would pick up the edge of the paper. Okay. So I'm going to go a little bit to the left of it. And see what happens. I might actually pick up that green egg by accident too. Oh, oh no, it still went there. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh. Nothing. So yeah, it did pick up the edge of that. Let's scoot over here and take a look. Okay. I actually think that you have a small chance here. There is a finite amount of area that the claw can move left and right. Right. So you can only go so far left, okay. but I want to see how far that is to try to see if I can just knock that cracked egg on the left side okay. out. So we go all the way to the left first. I'm basically going to go all the way to the left. Oh, that's it. Oh. That was not very helpful, was it? Well, no, but I think you still have to go for the same egg. But it's going to go right over the edge. These green eggs keep getting in our way. We do not like your green eggs and ham. Will that green egg count? Whoa! Oh, we did it! We did it! Okay, so that was not what was supposed to happen. But, however, it showed a valuable skill that you could kind of just uh, hack the uh, hack the game system, here. break the game, and <laughs> yeah. Look at that. We got a little guy with this little apple. Little was, guy? It's it, pretty big. It, yeah, it's a chonker. It's really stuff too. Some of those ones are super soft. This one's like super filled with plush. Um, so we were actually the first people they said had ever cracked the egg on impact. Okay, you write that down. Winner every time. First to crack the egg. First to crack the egg. <laughs> and I have a feeling that's because of how we actually ended up winning that claw. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> that was still a crazy one. I cannot believe that happened. Well, that was a lot of fun trying out some of the new claws that we're seeing here around one this year. Keep an eye out because we're definitely going to be going to more round ones and trying some more tips and tricks. So you want to make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get some more how-to videos. Four huge wins for us today. These barely fit in my arms and a lot of near misses, am I right? Oh. But overall, we actually had a great time. So I hope this helps you on your next trip to round one.